Hey everybody, welcome back. We are doing some live channel updates. Get that sticker up there. Just don't want to stick it down on my table. <laughs> so we got a tray full of knives here. We will come back and see those in just a minute. Hopefully you guys are jumping in. What's up, Bunzo? We're going to move this tray off to the side. Happy Sunday. Almost dumped it. What's up, Morgan? Thank you. What's up, Penny? Yeah, just putting out some knives. I'm going to go through some new ones that I got. See what uh, you guys think. See what you guys want to look at and check out. What's up, Bad Monkey? Luke. Got my Sunday carry going. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram or not. I know a lot of you did. What's up, Menace? Jesse B. Scott's here. What's up, Slicey Dicey? Welcome to the Sunday Live channel updates. Seeing Lemansky's here. Yeah, these are pretty special. Gold Class Mini Crooked River. Yep. Kind of beautiful. All the work on it. What's up, Sigs? Pretty darn sharp too. Dam steel blade. I like it. But yeah, so I got that new Sunday carry here. Want to show you guys that. The Tengu Flipper. The 601. The blade steel on it's actually Dama Steel. So it's a special Dama Steel pattern they made for Benchmade. From, uh, I think they're over in Sweden. Pretty cool. Pretty cool either way. Now this one, this is the new hotness. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well too. Now a lot of billboarding on this side, and that was one of the things that people brought up. You know, Jared Oser, first production. I think it wouldn't be as bad if the Jared Oser was maybe up higher on the, the top part of the grind up here where it's flat. And then the first production obviously makes it a lot, but either way, this thing, it rides on these bearings and it's just crazy. So I'm going to do a takedown, a little tear down of it, but flies out so fast. Laird G10. Yeah, exactly. Looks like a NASCAR, which by the way, I think is back on today to check that out. But a very soft, kind of supple leather uh, sleeve or slip, probably made in the USA. Uh, just it carries nicely, you know. It's already it, since it's so soft, you don't have to worry about it breaking in. You, it fits right back in there. You're good to go with it. Yeah, that would be a good question, Bunzo. We'll have to find out someday. Whoever's taking the first trip to Mars. What's up, OC Omega? Happy belated birthday. Hope you had a good one yesterday. Got Jared Oser's uh, shield there. Have your liner lock. But overall, a pretty smooth one. Was excited for it. Checked it out at SHOT Show. Got that going and just got the hype going big time. And it's too bad they didn't get a bunch more out to like dealers. At least people could get their hands on with them. I'm um, hoping they start doing that in the future, but what's up, Mikey? Had to hydrate with a little Dutch Bros this morning. Went with the tea. Oh, you did. You built your ideal bug out. Nice. That's cool, Luke. What'd you go with? Got this titanium 940 back from our buddy over at Metal Complex. You know, he's a big freak of the all titanium look. So what's up, Max? Had to go with that. Had to check it out. So I said, all right, we'll send it over. Made it back in one piece. 
No extra wear, so that's good. So Luke went with some custom anode scales from Kefif, Kefif on Reddit and purple flitanium screws. Nice. I bet that looks good. You like the wood scale the best? Okay. Nice, nice. What's up, Jeff? So yeah, I got that one back. That's good. Really looking forward to, I saw it's like under 20 days now until we get that mini carbon fiber freak, the 565-1. So that'll be great. Oh, Ryan, you put the green barrel spacers and thumb stud on. Oh, it does. I bet it looks hot on that black one. Right on, man. Congratulations again. I appreciate the support. What's up, nice slicers? I wanted to show off something that showed up in the mail. Here, let's see. Kind of came in the mail for me. But it's kind of a cool little uh, knife pouch. Embroidered Benchmade logo. Thanks, Zach. Very nice, soft. Almost, uh, you know, it's padded, kind of furry. But fur doesn't come off, so that's cool. But... Yeah, it fits, uh, fits your knives like your uh, Gold Class Mini Crooked River, so I'll probably throw that in there, but pretty nice little uh, gift, so thank you. Thank you to the donor. Yeah, your new proper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm hoping we see a lot more of that, so. Now, you guys probably saw this one on my Instagram and my video. Or no, I haven't done a video on this one yet. That's right, I only watch Slices. This is the mini RSK MK1-G2, I believe, is what all the abbreviations are for. But basically, it's the Hogue Mini Ritter. Uh, this one's in the orange. has that awesome pattern and grip texture on the G10. It's a beauty. Deep carry clip. I carried it last week after I got it, which was only a couple days, but I mean, it's smooth and solid right out of the box. It's perfect. So it's going to stay nice and sharp. Your 20 CV. I mean, look at that. I mean, just off, it's just smooth right out of the box. Can't beat that. So that's a cool one. So really happy for that one. I'll have a video coming out on that one soon. Sorry, filmed it, but forgot you guys uh, hadn't posted it yet. Uh, the pre-order, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know they, I think they sold out pretty fast from what I heard. I missed out on like the initial drop. Um, like, or not the initial drop, but like when they first announced them and I got it like a little bit later in the day. So mine didn't ship out till Monday. Uh, I think, uh, Slicey yours shipped out on Friday and you got it like Saturday or something or Monday. So that was kind of cool. Oh, you have one pre-ordered? Yeah, they're usually pretty quick, but I guess it just kind of depends. You know, Hogue, I mean, they're not they're not a huge manufacturer of knives, like uh, employee-wise. So, you know, they have a good shop going, but not too bad. What's up, Justin? Yeah, you got some quick, but this is your size comparison. The full size is on top. The mini is on the bottom. You know, I have a large glove size hand, so that's the full size. That's the mini, you know? So, it, I mean, it, it, it just, and Slicey can attest to this, it just, the mini just locks right in. So, pretty cool. Very cool. One of my new favorites, honestly. I mean, it's gonna compete for some daily carry with this mini Presidio. Uh, let me look for you here. What's up, John? How's it going? So it'll get some, definitely get some carry with this one. This is the Mini Presidio 2 and CF Elite. I've been carrying this one like almost every day at work. So this this uh, Mini Ritter and this one are going to have a little duo this week. See which one can do the, the best work. I think they'll both do great. But I did want to share something cool that, uh, you know, I had made a donation not that you guys have to, but I had made a donation to the, see if I get it right. Um, 
basically it's a it's a college fund that was created by uh, the founder of Benchmade, Les Diasis. And so I just I donated to the college fund, um, you know, after his passing and in his honor. And just got a just a nice thank you card that was sent back. So pretty cool overall. Just nice that, you know, they continue that going. Um, they have so many great at the college up here um, near Benchmade. They have some great like manufacturing classes and things that he helped build uh, along with others in the community and supported it all through. So really cool that, you know, they do that. They continue the scholarships for people and it kind of just continues the process of people learning the, the trait, learning the skills and ultimately being hired. So not necessarily with Benchmade or anybody else, but I mean, it's kind of the, the manufacturing space of the U S out here. So of all the companies. So pretty cool. What's up, Drew? Got your emails, got your stuff going. We'll get that hooked up. Hope you're enjoying your win there. That was pretty cool. Yeah, they do some great stuff. So, you know, if you're interested, let me know. I'll be happy to send you a link, but pretty cool overall if they do it. What's up, Big Red? Big Red's in the house. Ryan's here. Ryan Pearson, a wonderful custom knife maker. Everybody give Ryan a shout out. Oh, you got the large Presidio too. Yeah, it's a nice one. And we're going to look at the inside of the scales here. So the liners only go, hopefully you can see where the liners go, basically to the tip of my finger where the barrel spacer is. And it's kind of a liner similar to what you'd see on like a bug out or a mini. So the liner kind of comes down through here and comes back up. So it screws in right here on that last one. So it has two screws that goes through. Hopefully that's enough of a picture that you're looking for. Justin, you fell asleep, buddy. We missed you, man. You're on there for a little bit, I think. That was fun, though. Good times. Yeah, we got some great people here today. See if I missed any while we were uh, talking there. We're good. Oh, what was the last one? The Mini Freak is supposed to be released uh, within... Hey, what's up, Nelly? How are you? Thanks, Big Red. Yeah, I hope she's enjoying her new kitchen knife. I know that was a vote of the people last night. That's a beautiful knife, too. Uh, you can definitely try Luke. Uh, if it pops up, I'll try to approve it. Big red might be able to prove it to you. If you pop up a link of it, of your bug out. Sometimes it'll automatically block it, but that's how it goes. What's up kid? Oh, your first mini crooked river. I know, right? It's awesome. What's up Tanner? Oh, you tried. Okay. It must've auto blocked it. Cause I didn't see anything pop up on my side. Yeah, the Mini Crooked River is a beautiful size. Um, now, I did want to show off some other orange knives. So we'll put these away. Yeah, it must auto block just links like that in general, totally. Put up a couple other orange knives that I have in my collection just to kind of show off. Speaking of Mini Crooked River. And so, yeah, like I talked about a little bit ago, it was under 20 days that the release was. So um, I'll have to look at the, the clicker again to see exactly when it is. But um, that's going to be, what's today, the 17th? So probably right at the end of the month or the beginning of June. So that'll be when the mini uh, freak is released. Which I can't wait for because, you know... Got so many great ones. Yeah, the Tengu is a nice one. Oh, that's a good penny. 
Yeah, I have to admit, like, I know a lot of people, hopefully you guys checked out my review on that. If not, check it out. Um, the The easiest comparison is going to be to, like, a uh, proper, the size of the proper. Yeah, the bug out. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of funny when you look at different orange colors. This is a very vibrant orange. And then you have the the mini RSK and then the mini Crooked River. You know, these are more similar here, top and bottom. Yeah, just the, just the different uh, dyes they use when they're making the plastic, you know craziness oh nice you got some spider codes that's cool that's cool but here's the comparison i think uh that kind of shows the best is the proper versus the tengu so yeah the three orange musketeers so the proper and the tengu about the same size blade length and all that so Yeah, exactly right. Batman's hunting knife. Hopefully it does. And I think you guys, you did I already get, did I already show you guys my spider codes last time? Oh, that would be cool, huh? What's up, Rodney? Welcome, welcome. I think I showed you guys these last time, huh? The lightweight Manix 2. Yeah, I use the Mediator all the time. Uh, I haven't taken the Luku out yet. I have not tried out a Shaman, Luke. I definitely want to, uh, especially after checking out this Manix 2. I have this one in the St. Nick's Knives version, but another orange for the table. More closer to the Benchmade orange, I think. A little bit lighter. Yeah, it's a nice one, but I need to. I think I need to figure out the hardware situation, like I talked about last time. I think Justin said he was gonna give me some info, some pointers. So I'll have to definitely take him up on that. I don't think I showed off the Saint Nick's one though last time. Yeah, the Manix twos are pretty big. That's what I've found. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. You know, I a buddy of mine was trying to talk me out of this one the other, the other day. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> Orange red combo. Now this one's more big red style. What's up, Keith? Welcome, welcome. This is more big red style right here. Oh, perfect, Justin. And this is one of those that like, it is so smooth. It's so crazy. And just, I mean, it's just drop shutty like nothing. Of course I didn't pull down the, I'm trying to get used to it. You know, I'm an access lock guy. So I'm trying to get used to the tension on these a little bit different, but yeah. Oh, you're left-handed. Okay, that works pretty good for you then. Oh, blue-red combo. That would be unique. I saw a blue one. I think it was uh, Gear Toward Gear posted the PM2 in, what was that? Like black and blue combo, the, black, the blue scales. That looked pretty hot. Yeah, I don't get it, Rodney, but I guess we can make our own, Justin said. OCD free DC said, I got you. We'll take care of it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Justin said he's got some ideas, so I'm sure you can do some of that. But Luke, I do have one. I do have one that I've been practicing with. It's the, you can see the anodized or a uh, clip. And it's kind of that diamond liners there. Yeah, it's a 51. Got that from Blade HQ. 
Yeah, I know a couple people with an 87. And uh, they're pretty happy with it. So somebody offered me one. But I was like, eh, I need to, I need to get carrying this and using it more. So been practicing. I'll have to do a video on exactly which one I did, but oh, you just installed the flytanium. Yeah, John's got 87. John loves his 87. He does some cool stuff with it. Yep, yeah, 87 is kind of next level. This is kind of your, you know, beginners 51. Just kidding. But yeah. Okay, cool, Justin. Yeah, he's going to put up the hardware replacement video soon. That would be cool for a lot of people. And then every day I see this. What's up, Jesse Lopez? Oh, not on Blood Thinners? Yeah, there you go. Every day I see this, I long for that new... 940 BK-2002, the all blue G10 one. It would have a good partner with this guy right here, but I don't know. It's going pretty crazy on eBay with those right now. People are getting some ridiculous prices. So what's up, Mark? I think they start at like, I've seen most of eBay auctions start at like four or 500 bucks. It's like, man, it's $250 retail. So yeah, exactly, Drew. It's nice one, huh? I put the blue thumb studs on there, so I got those. Uh, I sent you that email today. You're getting caught up on all my emails and everything today. Sorry about that. So what are you guys carrying today? Being it's Sunday and most people are still at home. That's cool, Drew. That's cool. Got the Tangu, nice. Very nice, John. Oh, you got the Malibu. That's wicked, Slicey. I love the Malibu. That was so nice. Oh, the pair three and a pair three lightweight. That's cool. Oh, you're doing your Strider SNG, nice. The Delica, carbon fiber. I know, Bunzo. I know, I'm so sad. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm going to have to sell a bunch of stuff to try to buy that, but. I don't know if it's worth it, but we'll see. Oh, uh, reviews coming out in the morning? Right on, man. I'm so jealous, man. That that Malibu is so nice. I played with it at Shot Show and I was just like, man, can I can I can I leave home with this? <laughs> uh the Inkosi, okay. Capara, PM2 left-handed, nice. Pair three lightweight lynch clip. Yeah, that's a good must. Yeah, it's got five days left. It'll probably go for six or more. DDR DGT new bug out you won yeah right on man yeah you'll have to send me a picture of that man with all the hardware on there I know Adrian will probably appreciate a picture of it too he donated the hardware for it so be beautiful stuff Ferrum Forge exec nice <laughs> you're alternating Luke that's funny between slicing your hand with 51 and thwacking the Ultra Tech. The CRKT Thero, nice. Oh, you got the Manix too, right on. Got your ProTech, Emerson, GEC 44. Nice. Spyderco Smock, right on. Small Copper Arc, oh yeah, there you go, Mikey. That's some good stuff. That's cool, thanks, Ryan. Leatherman Free, P4, right on. And a custom grip, nice. Yo, Jimbo 2. Oh, really? Oh, no. You sliced them up on the proper. Were you trying to get the, uh, the pin in, that stud? Or were you taking the scale off? What am I carrying today? I'm actually carrying, so I was, my Sunday carry for today was these two. I had to kick, I had to kick this guy out of the pocket because I got this guy back on Friday and I've carried it the last two days. I was missing it. He was hanging out with Metal Complex, Metal Complex for a week or two. 
So I figured I'd carry these two nice classy ladies or gentlemen's on uh, gentlemen's carry here on Sunday. What's up, Professor EDC? Oh, you're carrying a Victoria Knox. Right on. Oh, and an Adamus. That's a that's a combo. Oh, you're getting ready to pull the trigger on a Yojimbo? Oh, cool. The mini's nice. I mean, I have to tell you, like, I mean, I know a lot of people were, I mean, it's the price, right? I mean, it's the price, but a lot of people were like, well, but I'll tell you, it's worth it. And it's beautiful. You know, you got your Raffir Noble there. As your liners. And you can kind of see through it, too, when it comes down to it. You can see the light come through there. Yeah, that's the thing. But, I mean, you can talk to your dealers. Some of the dealers can do some different pricing on them for you. So that usually helps. I think I need to switch. Let's see. Switch up how I'm reading the comments there. There we go. I didn't have it on the live chat, so it was like only pulling up certain ones. Yeah, the flipper is pretty nice on that, Menace. Um, oh, you're carrying the ZT0566? That's cool. Yeah, so I have to say that, uh, and John can probably test because he is carrying his today, but it doesn't have any jumping on the, on the flipper tab, but it's got enough of that ledge, so... Once you hit it, it just flies out. So it's it's really nice, actually. Oh, you've been tempted to do a custom, the Nama Steel Blade. Yeah, they're good. I mean, and and it just it literally feels like an assist when it comes out. You know, and you don't with it being a liner lock, you don't have to worry about pushing down on anything on this side if it was a frame lock but very snappy yeah very snappy it's like once you break that tension it just it's like bam right out on its own so not the largest knife but pretty uh you know it's so cool that you we can get a design that uh jared oser made through Benchmade, so it's pretty sweet. No pocket clip. It does come with this pocket sheath, uh, or a little sleeve, leather sleeve nonetheless. Uh, made in the USA, very nice soft leather, so you're not gonna worry about it getting too scratched up in your pocket. So it comes with that, which is pretty nice. Yeah, much better. Yeah, I like the feel of this mini RSK. You know, I have a large glove size hand, so it locks in really nicely. And then you have your, you know, a little bit of a ramp and a little bit of uh, jimping. Kind of rounded a little bit, not too sharp. But with the scales and everything, I mean, it just locks right in. Um, there are some, you know, you do feel these larger grooves down here. If you were to really grip up on it, I mean, you can see kind of the marks it leaves in my hand, but you know, if you're really needing to do something, especially if it's a little wet or slippery out with anything, if you got grime or guts or whatever you're doing on there, it's going to be locked in. So I might try it with the mini bug out clip too, but I really like these deep carry clips. So, but I do have to say, It's darn smooth out of the box. So that one's that one's a keeper right there. So hopefully hopefully you get one. I know, you know, they I thought they would have had a bigger order, but I guess not. You know, or they just sold that many knives, so that's pretty cool either way. The 320 has a push button action. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, this is something that, I mean, you just don't see anything 
right here at all. Uh, Uncharted Trucker, would you prefer a Hinderer Jurassic or an XM18 Skinny? I haven't tried either of those. You like the bug out clip on your 940-1501 the most? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Doug's a great guy, does some great stuff. So, uh, you know, in all the times I've met him, like half a dozen times now, and it's like, he's just super nice. Takes time to talk to everybody, answers your questions, you know, pretty cool. No, nice slicers, I didn't. I really want to, but it's a, you know, it's a thousand dollar bill, so. I got to choose my battles with some of that stuff. Would I rather have the proper or the Tengu? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, as of right now, I would say proper, only because I've used it a whole bunch. Uh, the Tengu is only like a couple days old. I just I just got it officially on Friday. Um, my my order came in on Friday, so I picked it up. So it was pretty cool. Um. <laughs> But yeah, nice slicers. I hope to have one of those propers here soon. We'll see. Depends on how everything else goes. Yeah, I could see some people do that, but it's not big enough that I would think, you know, size-wise of a knife that you'd realize it's there. So it'd probably pop out on some people maybe. Yeah, I could sell some bug outs. That is definitely true. What's up, Tom? Uh, Luke asked a question. Would you rather fight off a hundred duck sized horses or one horse sized duck? Hmm. I'd probably go with the one duck. And I'd bring like my bolo, my jungle buoy bolo. Bringing the Adamas out. I think that's one of the ones. I don't know. Let me see. I was trying to see in my stuff on the shelf if I have one. Protag Emerson is a beast. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Ducks do fight dirty a little bit. There's two gold class propers. They had one with like a white, was it a white micarta, I think, uh, from 2018, if I remember. Or was that 19? And then there was one this year that they just put out. Yeah, they fight a little dirty, those guys do. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, and then we got the Artisan Cutlery Biome. You guys probably will be seeing this coming up on the channel here this week, hopefully. Our buddy Dylan Mallory designed it. Yeah, the carbon, fi carbon fiber proper is nice. Super lightweight. It's G10. Waterfowl do, yeah, they definitely fight to survive. That's for sure. They are pretty tasty. <laughs> yeah, that's a bonus, huh? That's a bonus question for you. Yeah, Ryan, I wish they did. You know, I wish Benchmade would put out a limited run of the 940 BK 2002. Oh, you're just stuck in customs? That sucks. Yeah. Mine, like, sailed through customs. I don't know why. But I was lucky, I guess. There's your carbon fiber proper that you're talking about. Almost caught the blade there. <laughs> yep, it's a beauty. It's super nice. S90V. <laughs> oh, Rodney, you still haven't got it? Did they get back to you at all this last week? What's up, August? Welcome, welcome. That's one of those bummer things, man. 
What's up, Dom? I do like the mini bug out. Um, the question of... Oh, thanks, Keith. Happy Sunday, man. Yeah, I love your videos. Or your little uh, on-the-truck videos during work. What's up, Brandon? Uh, Uncharted Trucker said, Do you like the Mediator a little better than the 940 or about the same? So I actually... Um, carry the mediator. Whoa, throw stuff around there. I carried the mediator quite a bit this last week and I actually found it pretty nice. And I think overall, I still have a love for the 940 over the mediator, but I think it's just because it, you can actually actuate it. You know, I don't, I mean, the only negative, I love the automatic, but closing it one-handed is just a little more complicated. So the ease of being able to take this out, use it, flip it closed and move on, it's good to go. Yeah, it's got some beautiful looks though. I mean, push button, just as slim as your 940s pretty much. Mini deep carry clip. Yeah, G10. Uh, I got the Tengu from Benchmade. Uh, at the retail store. It's not uh, fully open to the public, but you can like place an order and go pick it up. Kind of what a lot of people are doing right now. Uh, I'm not sure on the mediator being legal in Washington. Big Red might know. Push button auto. I can't remember if they uh, got rid of that law for you guys or not. Yeah, 940 with those scales would be really nice. Oh, Nicole just picked up the blue G10 and 20 CV of them. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Would I recommend the mini bug out or the full size? I'm also considering the 940. Evan, I would say... Oh, Rodney, thanks, man. Holy cow. That snuck up on me. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate that. That's super nice of you. Oh, man. I have to send you out some more stickers and stuff. Um, so, recommendation on a mini or a full-size bug out. Let me see. I got my bug out bag here. Hold on. Which, just in case you think it's like a survival one. It's not. It's actually a bag full of bug outs. <laughs> Good play on words, right? Uh, so here's a comparison and just in color. So this orange one is the full size and this is Cerakoted by our friends at EDC Specialties down in California. They worked on a, with this on a contractor. And then this is the mini bug out they came out with uh, Benchmade. I still like the full size over the mini. Um, but yeah, Rodney and swim trunks, uh, jogging, anything that you, you know, you could clip this even into your waistband if you want, um, or your pocket in shorts, whatever. And you barely notice it's there size wise or weight. So overall everyday carry the full size for me. Um, there's another orange one to add to the lineup, but if we had to go with yeah, I mean, I would always recommend, especially with the, you know, everything that's going on, just definitely go somewhere and get the mini in your hand, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that, and that's the thing. Like, this will work. It'll work really well for you, especially if you like the access locks. Um, you know, super lightweight, ready to go. But I would just say full size if you can carry it where you're going. I mean, I, I carried my, my original 535, the blue one, in a, uh, that's got my little Z logo on it, um, in my swim trunks in the ocean in Maui and didn't even realize it was there until like a couple hours later and then it was too late for the springs. They were rusted by the time I got home. But Benchmade took care of it, so Life Sharp warranty on par. 
Someone needs to go find Brad from Mild Man AC. He's a drool over what's on the... <laughs> After that's over, I bet a lot of stores won't be having knives available to hold. Yeah, it just depends. You know, I think there's going to be definitely a system in place. I think, you know, if you get your true places like how Benchmade's set up, they might go with one where you can actually like, you know, you can still hold stuff, but they may have to just wipe it down when you're done looking at knives. Maybe just ask that you don't try every knife in the store, but, you know... You still, just like anything, you got to get in your hand and know if you like it or not. Yeah, both great for fishing. A real bug out bag, yep. That's so cool. Uh, let's see, Epic Tim said, I wish Benchmade made a fixed blade version of the Crooked River. That'd be pretty neat looking, huh? Yeah, the mini, you know, Rodney, the mini definitely surprised me, the mini bug out. I thought it was going to be too small, but, you know, it's one of those you can still carry and, you know, still get a good grip on. So that's why I got each of them. I got that one and the Stormtrooper one. And then uh, got a cool offer. Somebody's sending me some scales to swap over so I can do a build on that one. Yeah, Luke, that's cool. You started with a mini grip. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, I, I got into it, obviously, with the 940. Uh, you guys probably heard that story a long time ago, like 20 years ago. And then got into, like, Griptilians and other stuff and just kind of went to, went from there about three, four years ago. I'm super excited for the new Mini Freak Parker. I'm, I'm really excited for it. You got the Team Tango pre-ordered. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, Benjamin Tengu. I got you. Do I prefer the full-size bug out or the bailout? Well, uh, are we talking like the original bailout or the new aluminum one? Because that's, that's your decision maker right there. So I got the new bailout. What's up, Ethan? The new one. I Man, that's a hard one. You know, I would say, I would say everyday carry, my dog's barking back there, sorry. I would say everyday carry, uh, the pommel is not, so, I'll just drop it on my other knives. <laughs> the pommel is not something that I would use for everyday carry. Um, so I would have to say the regular bug out, but if I get that pommel delete, then this might be something that I would carry every day over a bailout just because it's so solid and your M4 is just crazy. So crazy sharp, crazy amazing. Oh yeah, Bunzo, send that in. Yeah, Mild Manor, heard from a little bird. There's some sweet orange and black knives partying over here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, the bailout's nice, you know. The bell, it's definitely nice. So, there's a home run with me right here. Even with the, the pommel. I mean, if you don't like it, you can grind it off or whatever. But, or just get it a backspacer. Plenty of people doing that. Welcome, Mild Manor DDC. Yeah, definitely. I know, I was scared. I actually looked at that. I was like, oh, did it hit this one? No. It, that would be my luck, though. Like, I would have this laying down here, and the glass pommel would hit, like, the the Raffir Noble inlay or something and break it. <laughs> that would be my luck. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Definitely a great improvement, Rodney, over the original. Yes, I totally agree. Yeah, so we had some orange knives going around here. We had the mini Crooked River. This is from their custom shop, Benchmade.com. Built my own, pretty sweet. This is the mini RSK MK1-G2. Uh, it's been dubbed the mini Ritter by several people, including Mr. Slicey Dicey. The mini bug out. The Benchmade Tengu. <laughs> it's the Brad signal. 
And a full size bug out. And then, of course, a mini off to the side here. Yeah, these are all orange ones that I've collected. You know, I built this one. I like orange and black. Um, and they're just coming out with them, you know. And I think I showed off the Manix 2 Lightweight earlier. That's another orange one that I have. So, hey, hey, welcome back, Mikey. Welcome back. 940s are beautiful. I would love to see the 940 in the Custom Knife Builder as well and build an orange one and some blue ones and some other ones, so. Oh, you did, Chris. You ordered the Mini Presidio 2 and CF Elite. That's awesome. Uh, Morgan says, do you have one of the 18,001s? Which one is that? Uh, so Uncharted Trucker says, I'm a pretty big Benchmade fan. Definitely, definitely. Um, thanks, Joe. Um, what's my other favorite knife builder? You have a custom Spider-Man themed mini Crooked River with the custom knife builder. Oh yeah, that's cool, Epic Tim. Yeah, so Uncharted Trucker, I would say, you know, I'm, I've found some spider codes that I like. There's definitely some that are good, some that are okay. Um, you know, yeah. I, I have to say that there's some definitely some good Spydercos um, that I carry. The Capara is one of them. Um, it's a little pronounced, but it actually... Um, it helps because it breaks that tension. And just is so snappy. So it doesn't get in the way, though. Yeah, the Parker they are. I was hoping that somebody would sell me one for a more reasonable price, but I don't think that's going to happen. I was kind of hoping, but... So I would say probably the two other knife makers that I really enjoy outside of Benchmade and my large Benchmade collection would probably be Hogue. Hogue's making some great knives. Um, and Spyderco. And then Spyderco is obviously going to be... You know, I'm, I'm digging the pair of threes, um, pair of three lightweights. You know, you guys have seen some of the ones I have for that. And that Capara is awesome. And then I'm starting to get into the Man X2 a little bit. Trying to figure out which one I like, though, before I start fully carrying one. Um, just so that way, if I do trade off or sell the other one that I don't like, then somebody will get a new knife. It's not going to be dinged up or they can put their own marks on it, so to speak. Yeah, I think Hogue's doing some good stuff. You know, I you know I don't know which way they're gonna go. I think they have a good you know deal going with these minis and the full size. And then also uh, one from Hogue that came out that you guys probably like as well. Oh, you got your first Microtech? Yeah, I was looking at those darn push button autos they have. The Deca is pretty sweet. Now you guys saw me pick up the first Deca Blade Show West and I gave that one away, the brown brown handled one, but I have a couple of these blue ones. This is the Warncliffe version one. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Digging what they're doing. Digging what they're putting down. But like anything, you know, they they have a a good knife that's available and it sells, you know, any of these, any, anybody, you know, I mean, just like when the bug outs came out and you know, that mini freaks going to come out and they're going to be sold out quick because people are going to buy like two of them, you know, at least because, you know, they got a little bit of a higher price, but I think they got what S 90 V carbon fiber, red accents, pretty good. Oh, nice Joe. Nice. Yeah, I heard the Shaman's good, so I, I hope to try one of those out. And what's the what's the one you guys have saw or you guys have shown the Microtech? Is it the L U D T? 
or something. What's up, Matt? Welcome. I was thinking about checking one of those out. Only because they got so many cool colors. Yeah, mild mannered. You can't beat it for the price. I mean, you know, keeping it real. Keeping it real. What are your guys' uh, best knife company besides Benchmade? Because that's, you know, hands down what we're, what we're here for. But Yeah, so it is the LUDT. Okay, I got that right. Yeah, I totally agree, Rodney. Oh, yeah, MBK. That's a good one. Giant Mouse is good. Spyderco. All right, Keith. Yeah, definitely. I'll see you at Bruise and Blades. Definitely tonight. Slicey Dicey's channel. Protex, another really good one. I forgot about them because I don't have very many of their knives out. I do have some in my collection, as you've seen. CRK. I haven't tried any of those yet. So come elite. I've heard that. Okay. What's up, Neves? Welcome, welcome. Benchmade, Spider Co., and Protec. Yeah. Neves, we're looking at knives. We're checking it out. We're talking about favorite knife makers as well as Benchmade. Or in addition to Benchmade. Talked about a lot of Spider Co., Protec. Monterey Bay Knives, Hogue. Oh, you're getting an angle grinder, Max. That's cool. This one right here is a Hogue, Hogue Knives. Oh, yes, Three Rivers. Dang, why do, they, why do I keep forgetting them? Thanks for reminding me, you guys. Yeah, I have their Atom, and it's pretty sweet. I, I was told I need to try the Neutron, too, so hope to get on that next drop of those. But they're not back into work yet, so hopefully soon. But this is a Hogue Knives uh, Ritter, Mini Ritter. I think the official is RSK MK1-G2. The Luku's not bad. You know, the Luku's not bad. I have not taken it out for a test run yet. I'm working on it. I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday about it. We're talking about getting these, getting these uh, worn in. Oh, really? You got a neutron for sale? Oh, okay. We'll have to talk about that. Tops is a good one. Yeah, Tops is a good fixed blade knife. They roll heavy at those shows, man. Shot show, they were rolling heavy. And all sorts of crazy knives there. Took a long time to go through everything they had going. I really like the Skaha. Is that the one you're talking about? Um, and I have a Skaha 2 in reservation. I think I'm up to 11 or 12 months left on that. Bunzo, you'll see a cool video coming up for that. You'll see a cool video for the scales on that one. Oh, you got one with the amber colored scales? Okay, nice, Rodney. Oh, Nicole, you got one too, right on. You know, Brandon, I like the AWT scales, but I haven't tried them on the bug out. Uh, I had them on a mini griptilian. Uh, and honestly, you know, when they dinged up, I was a little sad. I got sad because I dropped my knife and it dinged up on the concrete. But they're solid, you know. I mean, we saw Gear Toward Gear hammer in with his and everything. Um... I just haven't been big on the aluminum scales. So getting back into the aluminum scales was, was this bug out. Or I'm sorry, this bailout. Oh, you got a 940, 20 CV. Yeah, those are nice. So yeah, they mark up a little bit easier than like G10 or carbon fiber. Um, or the FRN plastic. As Slicey says, fancy plastic. What's up, Dane? Welcome. So that's one of my things. Yeah, that's one of the things that's good. 
Replacement screws, you can get them from a couple different locations. Uh, blades we love on eBay. Um, also, um, Adrian has a store in Australia. It takes a little longer for shipping. Um, he has a really wide variety of stuff for aftermarket replacement scales or standard replacement scales, or not replacement scales, but replacement screws, sorry. So you guys got any other questions? Any other knives you've been waiting to see? I do have my bug out bag here, so. Yeah, that flipper's there. I got my purple mini also. Purple mini, I think it looks good. Turned out really, really nice. It's good stuff. What's your one forever bug out? Oof. Can I make up my own? <laughs> the mini's not too mini. Uh, you know, it's definitely one you can carry. But if you're looking for a regular EDC knife, I would say then go with the full size. My one bug out, forever bug out. I'd probably have to say it's a carbon fi- Ooh. Here's the tie. The flipper's name is the Tengu, T-E-N-G-U, and it's a Jared Oser design made by Benchmade. I do a little bit, Morgan. I do have some Protex, yes. <laughs> Build a bug out. All right, Drew, talk to you later, man. Uh, email me back. We'll get that hooked up. Bunzo says, do a good video or a good video idea to be a build a bug out using a part from every one of your bug outs. That would be crazy. Yeah. So here's the two bug outs that would battle for my bug out I could go with forever. These are the two. Now, obviously, the gold class is like up and above these, but, oh, you got the TR3 left-handed? Nice. I wanna get the TR3. But, titanium scales from Bashy Design on a blacked out blade, black hardware, makes it just a solid knife. A bug out battle to the death, yeah. Carbon fiber, carved scales from Rogue Blade Works. Red anodized hardware, thumb studs. And then a backspacer from Rock Scale Design out of California. I'll pay you $100. Uh, what's up, John West? Yeah, there are two beauties there. If you had to choose one benches, one Spyderco, and one of your choice, which would you choose? Oof. I guess I would say Benchmade, I would go stick with Classic 940 that I love forever. Uh, if I had to choose Spyderco, I would say Kapara because I love the Kapara. Hogue, I would say, man, maybe the Deca. Well, I don't know because it doesn't have a deep carry clip yet. Mm, maybe the Deca. And then I think TRM right now, the Adams is all I have, so I would use that one. And ProTech, I think. If I had to choose one from ProTech, 
Probably the Mordax, the the one they did with Ferrum Forge and those guys. You know, I do have a Boker Quake and Flipper. But I've never gotten into it. So it's just been sitting around. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. This one's the new bailout. The Tonto, that's the new bailout. From Benchmaid. Aluminum handles. Coated M4 blade. It's a nice one. Uh, no, I think it's the Micarta version. Brooke just got the Manix 2 CPM 110 as well. Good knife. Only thing I want is a Flytanium ball cage. Yep. Oh, really? The Civivi clips work perfectly on the Deca? Hmm. We'll have to try that out. I put a... Um, A ZT clip on my other one. Hey, Raider Nation. Happy Sunday. Jack, we got all sorts of knives on the table. What's up, Mr. Kluver? Welcome, welcome. We're talking about knives. We're talking about red hardware. We're talking about a new mini carbon fiber freak coming out. Do you have a couple Leathermans? They're older ones. Giant Mouse is good. Talking about Orange and the Tangu Flipper and the mini RSK MK1 G2, the mini Bug Out. The CV, CVV one does work, but it's very hard to get extra CVV clips. Hmm. All right, Mikey, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a good Sunday. All right, Zach, you too. I do like the DECA better, or the Warncliff DECA, only because when it closes, it doesn't get the inside of my palm. For some reason, the drop point one does. I don't know why, but... Nice, Jack. Welcome, welcome. I tried to, you know, start a little bit later. So the Mini Freak drops in less than 20 days. So today's the 17th. Um, I would say it's probably end of the month, beginning of June. I'd have to look at the... They have a countdown thing on the Benchmade website. Yeah, exactly, Slicey. What's up, Instant Knife Guy? Hey, hey, me with knives. Welcome. So much orange, big man. Oh, nice. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to go buy one of those clips in, Justin. That's a good idea. Maybe go, does Savivi sell them on their website? You just ordered, oh, nice, Steve. You just ordered the RSK Gen 2 and flat. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, I know, Slicey. It's all, I'm like, what? I'm like grabbing my tablet here, huh? We'll take a smooth intermission break to go purchase Savivi Deep Carry Clips. 18 days. There you go. Yeah, so 18 days. Yeah, Slicey's in the house. He's getting warmed up for Bruise with Blades tonight. 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, I believe. <laughs> oh, there's lots of people that aren't YouTubers that are in here. There's about 60 of you, 59 of you. Oh, nice. I'll have to send him a message to you. Let's try one out. Oh, yeah, I was going to say we take a break to go buy the Civivi clips real quick. That's too funny. Yeah, so 18 days, that'll be nice. Oh, you're auctioning off a hinderer tonight. See, I've never tried a hinderer. I've held a couple, but I've never like carried one, used one. So that's probably on my agenda next. So we'll have to get into that a little bit.
Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I guess we can, if anybody has any questions. Yeah, I know, Big Red. What's up with that, huh? Like, we're slacking, I guess, on the whole hinderer thing. Or maybe it's a trend. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy, Insta. Maybe it's a like a trend. It's a trend thing. It goes in waves. This month's wave, hinderer knives. No, that's cool. I, I see Slicey just like head over heels and loving them. And I'm like, what in the heck? So it gets you thinking, you know? Yeah, a lot of people haven't. A lot of people haven't held them. But that's how it goes, you know? Once you get it in hand, you can't put it down. Okay, all right, Professor. All right. We'll have to do that. The Grizzly Ridge. Are you like spying my knife tray or something? <laughs> There's the Knife Works one. You have four with one? Dang. The professor has spoken. Built like tanks. That's cool. Yeah, Knifeworks one is nice. Joe said, uh, is 0562 similar to the XM18? Oh, okay. Is that the one that uh, ZT did? So you can kind of get into it a little bit cheaper. Yeah, a lot of people said that they would like this with a pocket clip. So, I mean, the only thing I could compare size-wise to that was going to be the... Um, the... Pff, Saibu. You know? Um, almost similar... And then of course, this has the pocket clip. So you can kind of see almost what it would look like with a pocket clip. But that's not what Jared does. I don't think Jared does too many pocket clips. Looking at his sweet, sweet slip joints. What's up JD, welcome. <laughs> sent my, sent your old worn out Grizzly Creek in for rebuild, rebuild. nice. Blade Brigade's here. What up? You have a rat too. What benchmate would you recommend? I would say I would go with like a bug out, or maybe a Griptilian. Yeah, what's happening? You know the bailouts are nice too, but I think you know doing a bug out would be pretty pretty cool. You'd probably like that. You know, if you want something a little bigger, then I would definitely say the, the Super Freak. You know, the 560BK-1. This one's just a uh, stinking tank. And you got to throw red thumb studs on it to match the barrel spacers. That's just kind of the what you need to do. That was the only the only thing that I had a that I had a concern with. It was so funny to you know, talk to a couple of people that were involved with this knife and, you know, bringing it to life. And I'm like, you know, I bring it in with these on. And I'm like, why? Why not? And they kind of look at each other and they're like, that's a good question. <laughs> but Super Freak's always a great choice. G10, it's beautiful. Feels great. Loco's not bad. Loco's not bad. It's just a bigger knife. You know, you definitely got to like what you're getting into. You know, like that's your loco. Oh, nice. You got the red thumb suds. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I like them. And here's the thing. Like if you're not into red, he's got purple. If you're not into purple, he's got blue. He's got green. He's got like all these different colors that it's just that extra pop, you know? Hey, thanks, Dane. We, we appreciate all the support, you know, all of us do, you know, we, we love being able to interact with you guys and have the live streams and, 
have you guys, you know, respond on our videos and stuff. It's pretty cool stuff. And get some answers, you know, and hopefully give you guys a direction of what you'd like to see and, you know, show off what's new. Yeah, those special edition scales on that, or limited edition scales, the like the snakes, the rattlesnake ones, those were pretty sweet. Yeah, live's the most fun. So I got like 65 e on here. Let's see. Let's do, we got to do a little giveaway today, right? Some some nature. Use my tie scribe mini from Urban Survival Gear to write it down. We're just going to do, oh, there's 65 of you. I kind of like the number one last time with one guess. What do you guys think of the number one? Numbers versus letters. Because Big Red did the letters last night on his patch giveaway. I only wanted two of those patches. I wanted that Benchmade patch, and I wanted the uh, the Bastion patch. All right, Professor. I appreciate you stopping by, man. Definitely appreciate it. Do the numbers. Okay. The numbers were cool, and we basically did one guess, one number, and I think it was between 1 and 500 that we did and whoever got the closest one and it takes a little bit to sort it out but i think it's a little easier um we don't have as many guesses so yeah we'll probably go with the numbers then so between one and 500 or yeah between one and 500 wait till you see the start on the screen that i'll put on there but i think what we'll do let me write it down on here first one and 500 now now i will give you a clue last time the number was 300, which was the address of Benchmade. <laughs> but we will uh, we will choose something different this time. So let's see here. Now we got to figure out what to choose, right? Choose a random number between one and 500. Let's see. How about? What I want to tell you guys. Oh, as you guys write it down, be like, what's up with that? Uh, hey Jack, welcome back. Jack's back. Jack's back. Welcome back. Well, it's too bad we're not doing anything higher number because I would have some fun with that. You guys would probably guess it right away though. You'd be like, oh, it's 535 for the bug out. I mean, not that that's what I would do, but that's probably what I would do. Okay. So we got this written down. The hard part is just relating it to anything, so we'll go from there. What's up, AJ? Yeah, we appreciate you. So one of the things, let me uh, go ahead and fold this up and put it out in front of you so everybody can see the folded up paper here. So that's the guess, or that's the answer. <laughs> let me get this on here. What we're going to do is we're going to guess, we're going to give away something. Now, what are we going to give away? I should probably do that first. Get a little backwards here. Um, where did I put it? Okay, I have a little bit of something for you. You're gonna get some swag from myself. You get some stickers and some swag from myself and from Big Red. Thank you, Big Red. And you're also gonna get a Right in the Rain All Weather Memo Notebook. You're gonna get a Right in the Rain All Weather Pen, which is pretty cool. And of course, in true Zach stuff style. We're going to go with a guided field sharpener from Benchmade and WorkSharp. These things are amazing, you guys. So very cool. Very good stuff. You can throw it in your bag. You can flip over the panels. They are magnetic. So you don't have to grind on everything that's in your bag. Those clip on. It's got the guide, so you can just do your stuff. A little sharpening rods, a little leather strop. It's quite the accessory. 
So we'll do these three things as a giveaway today. We're going to guess a number between 1 and 500. And when you see the start on the screen from me, then you can go ahead and you're going to do one guess. That's it. One guess. So if you do two, you're disqualified. So only one guess. And the closest person to the number will receive those three items and some swag. So we're looking through, we're looking through. It would be awesome if somebody guessed it like right on. It would be so amazing. Got some close ones, so that's kind of cool. Got some really close ones. But yeah, so it's a fun little giveaway. I like the numbers. I like the numbers. Nicole, that's funny. Oh, OSK went went deep. Went numero uno. Have you guys ever had something where you posted a, a video or something on Instagram story? And you use like the provided music that they provide, and then it got flagged for music violation, like copyright. I'm like, it's something that Instagram provided. It was weird. That happened yesterday to me. It's like, whatever. So I just deleted it. All right. Do we have all the guesses in? There's about 61 of you, 62 of you in here. Just want to make sure everybody got it. And then we'll go back through. I think there's a pretty clear winner from what I've looked at. Well, I think so. So we will go ahead and say stop. And that'll be the official end. <laughs> Mr. Kluver, that's so funny. That'll be the official end of it. And then let's see what we have in there to give away, what number it is. You get these three items, which is pretty cool. And these, uh, these things all come from um, you guys supporting my channel. So the donations you guys make, um, the super chat here, and from watching and supporting my videos, um, I purchase these things. So hope you guys enjoy them. But the closest person to 448 was I think GK at 444 that I saw. So congratulations, man. That's pretty cool stuff. So either way, send me an email. Um, email address will be linked below or send me a direct message on Instagram. Either way, we'll confirm your win here for you and we'll get this mailed out to you. So Oh, Slicey, that's so close. Yep, GK, and that's congrats, man. That's awesome. So I'll put this stuff to the side. Um, GK, where are you at? Yeah, Dan asked where you were from. So the relationship to 448. See if you guys can figure it out. But... Yeah, it's an awesome win. You get some cool swag with it from myself and from Big Red. Anybody else have any other questions? Anything you guys are looking forward to besides the, you know, they got the mini RSK. So you got the mini Ritter from Hogue. Uh, it's a Knifeworks exclusive. So if you're looking for it, uh, Knifeworks has it on their website. <laughs> Morgan, that's a pretty good guess. Pretty good guess. Uh, let's see. Insta said, can I see that white knife? Uh, this is the mini bug out right here. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, I appreciate it, Jack. Yep, that's the mini right there. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Pretty awesome, totally. Now, I will say... Make sure to support everyone else in the knife community. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to that mini freak. I'm trying to find one of those, you know, you guys have been great sending me some links on Instagram and stuff to people that were selling some of those G10 940s, um, the new ones that came out, the 940BK-2002. If you guys find one for me and it's pretty decent, man, hook me up, let me know, or just buy it and send it to me. Oh, man, thanks, dude. Thanks, Mild Mannered. I appreciate it. Check out Mild Mannered EDC's website or his YouTube channel. His website. His YouTube channel. Uh, the pricing on the white one, I think it's like 165 retail, but definitely check out your knife dealers. Um, you know, Southern edge knife Works still does that great thing for us and basically gives us 15% off by using the discount code Zach 15, which is Z A C H one five. Just go to Southern edge knifeworks.com and put the link or put that in the discount code and you'll get 15% off your order, which is cool and free shipping in the U S. So I know she also does that for slicey dicey's channel as well. So pretty cool. Southern edge knife works. Oh, Mr. Kluver. Thank you. 15% off using Zach 15, uh, Southern edge knife works sends me out some knives to review. Um, and then I send back to him and basically this all goes to you guys. So when you go there and use this discount code, you get the free shipping, you get the 15% off and it goes to you. So that's what I dig about it. Um, is it goes right back to you. So, and I don't have to do anything to make sure you get it, you know, <laughs> which is really cool. So, and if anything that he donates, I give it away in my giveaways. So you guys have seen that. So it's pretty cool. So good stuff. And if they don't have what, what's in uh, stock that you want, just message them or email them and they'll get it for you. So, Oh, really, Nicole? Oh, really? Well, you definitely need to send me an email or send me a message on Instagram. Yeah, that would be great if I could get one of those. I'm trying to find two, one for me and one for a good friend of mine. Um, but it is what it is, you know? So... Well, if there's no other questions then, we'll go ahead and wrap this up, this live stream. Uh, the channel updates are great. You guys have an awesome rest of your Sunday. I don't know if you're a NASCAR fan, but NASCAR will be on here shortly. So we'll be watching that, checking out the race. Um, Tyler said, do I have to use the rock scale spacer for my bug out CF Elite and rock scales? No, the, you can use the stock um, backspacers with the rock scale scales, if that's what you're wondering. Yeah, that's the thing, Chad. I would love to have... Oh, yeah, Chad's here. What's up, Chad? I would love to have the uh, the 250 price for those too, but, you know, doing, they're doing like five, 600 bucks a piece right now. So thanks, Joe. Thanks, Mild Mannered. I appreciate it. Thanks, Big Red. Thank you guys for all your support, all your donations today. They will go into my next giveaway. Joe, appreciate it. Mild Manor, have a great day. Thanks for joining. Blade Brigade, New York. Enjoy your Sunday. Tyler, awesome. August, thank you. Nicole, excellent. We'll talk soon. Yeah, like gold, gold class prizes, yeah. Thanks, Brewer95. Have a great day. Take care, G-Man. Have fun. Jack, you too. Rodney, take care. Yeah, exactly, Rodney. Working on it. Working on it. Raider Nation, peace out. Have a great day. Morgan, you too, buddy. Take care. Thank you guys so much. If you like these videos, hit the subscribe and like button down below. Chris, take care. Do something kind for someone this week. Chad, you have an awesome rest of your day. And everyone else, you guys too. Uncharted Trucker, Mr. Kluver, James, Sig, you guys all take care.